In this video, we're going to talk about the information that Timesheet Mobile captures from your workers while they're in the field. Uh, when you first log into your administrator account from any browser, you're going to securely log in and you're going to see this dashboard page. The dashboard along the top gives you some summaries on the daily total hours. Uh, it breaks out overtime and regular time. Also, the, the hours for the week are broken out and the pay period. So at this point, we, uh, we assume that your account is set up. You've got your employees loaded, all their information. Each employee is listed. You've got the customers listed here. Tasks, if you're using tasks. And this is enabling your employees to view this information on their smartphone. There's two ways that employees can punch in and out. They can use either the smartphone app that's free to use. It's available on iTunes. For iPhone or on the Android Play Store. If employees don't have a smartphone, they're also able to use Timesheet Mobile by dialing in on a toll-free number that's assigned to your account. Using the lo location registration number, we're allowed to get their location from the cell carriers uh, who support location services. These are carriers like AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, uh, Boost, and a few others that are listed in our uh, user documentation that's changing all the time. On the map here you're going to see the punch events for the current day. We can zoom in to a region and now you'll be able to see the punch in indicated by the green thumbtack and the punch out indicated by the red thumbtack. Here you can see the timestamp for that punch out and if we click on the employee's name, this will bring us to the employee summary page. So here we'll be able to view a quick snapshot of the report for the present work week. Here we see each shift indicated by what customer or job the employee is working on, the tasks they were performing, the punch in, punch out time for each shift, the total hours for that shift. You'll notice that there's also a, a globe here that's color coded. A green globe indicates that both the punch in and the punch out were within the geofence of the customer site. Now those geofence settings were set up when you uh, set up your customer and jobs. You were able to draw a geofence around that customer site. So our system automatically checks the location uh, recorded by the GPS on the smartphone compares that to the geofence of the customer site and we tell you whether they were within or without. And so in this case here, if we want to look at the detail on on this shift, we'll go to the log sheet and here it says how how far away from the site the employee was when they punched out. So in this case, Anthony Jones was 500 meters away from the site when he punched out on this time on that day. And if we click on the globe here, It'll show the actual location of where he was when he punched. We can zoom in here. And the line will show where the job site geofence is. So this is the distance. It says 0.311 miles away from the site. This is where the employee was when he punched out. And this is where he should have been. Okay, so we reviewed the summary page for an individual employee. In this case, it was Anthony Jones. And we were able to see the report showing the shifts that were worked and also the individual log events with the geofence information. So how do you run a timesheet report for all your employees? You do that by clicking on timesheets. And here there's some pay period options that you can choose. For this example, we'll click on the current work week. And that brings up a summary bar for each of the employees in that work week. We see the regular hours worked and any overtime hours that were worked. If we click on Anthony Jones and expand, we'll see the details of each shift that were worked, uh, the customer worked on, the task that was performed, the punch in, punch out times for that each shift, and the hours that were calculated for each of these shifts. Also broken out are the regular hours and overtime hours 
in accordance to the account settings that you have. You can set the thresholds to uh, for the week and also for the day based on your overtime rates and laws that you have in your area. You'll notice here that there's also the, the geofence color coding that we talked about earlier where red indicates that one of the punch-ins or punch-outs was outside the geofence and if we double click on that it'll bring up the details of this shift. The green indicates where the employee was when he punched in and the red indicates where he was when he punched out. And in this case he was 500 meters away from the site during this punch out. You can also click on satellite view and zoom in if you want to know exactly uh, where that area is. Now we end up back at the timesheet reporting page and we can look at another employee here by expanding that. We can see Marie Smith here, what job she worked on, the task, the each shift's punch in and punch out details and the geofence report indicating that both punch in and punch out were within the geofence. And we can look at that detail here. Shows the red dot is the punch out and the green dot is the punch in. That's all good. If we go to the top of the page, there's some reporting options here. We can click on customer jobs. This is going to show the total hours worked at each customer site during this pay, pay period. And you can see the details here if we click on it which employees worked on that customer site, the dates, timestamps, and the total durations. If we go back, run that report one more time, current week, you'll also notice there's some export options. For QuickBooks, Timesheet Mobile is fully integrated. By clicking this button, once you approve the timesheet, all the hours will be imported into your QuickBooks Online. And for QuickBooks Desktop, this will create what's called an IIF report with all the timesheet information included that you can import to your QuickBooks Desktop. We also support export files that are CSV for ADP, for importing for your ADP for your payroll, and likewise for Sage. We create a CSV report that's compatible to be imported to Sage. For Excel, we also support the same report that you see here in HTML. You can create an Excel report showing all the hours worked by customers or by employees.